we're going to take a quick look at the layout editor in Panel Pro. So let's go. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicek, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. We've been working on Panel Pro for a while now, and we're going to take a look at the layout editor today. We're just going to take a brief look at it. I have a little bit done on my layout so far and I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a minute. We're going to divide this video up into two sections since it's so long. But before we get to that, if you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell that's right next to it so you can be notified whenever I have a new video coming out. And if you want to like to see more videos while you're watching, take a look at my playlist. I have over 40 playlists on there with nearly 500 videos so you could find them easily here is a section of my layout that i call the high grade and you can see on the left hand side there there is leakin creek and on the right hand side is smedleyville and smedleyville is what you normally see over my right shoulder when i'm talking I have eight of my turnouts in here and you can see that all I have to do is click on those turnouts and they will operate. And I also have some sensors on here. Now the sensors are still on a breadboard so they're real close together so you may see quite a few of them light up at one time but these will be put in the track in those locations now let's create a new panel for the rock creek industrial areas the first thing we have to do is go into panels new panel and layout editor and so we got a blank canvas right here so first thing we're going to do is we're going to name it Options, Edit Title, we call it Rock Creek Industrial, and we need a left-hand crossover. So we're going to come up over here to Left-Hand Crossover. And what you need to do is whenever you add something onto your canvas right here, you hold down the Shift key and place it wherever you want. You left click and it'll put that crossover in there. So we want a one, two, three, three left hand turnouts and three right hand turnouts on this. So we'll go over to left hand turnout and I'm just going to put this on here randomly. And then right hand turnouts. Now that we have everything on there, what I'm going to do is store this. So we'll come over to File, Store Panels, and is all, Panels is already selected, so we'll click on Store. We'll overwrite it, and voila, that is saved right there. So the way we want this to go, we want a left-hand turnout over here. So I might bring this up a little bit higher because it's not going to be a not going to be that large. Okay, and we have this left-hand turnout right here. So what we're going to do is rotate it. And I want to rotate it 180 degrees so it looks like that. And we'll put that right here. And let me see, I'm going to do, see if we can find snap to grid on here. Grid options. Okay, show grid in edit mode. Snap to grid when adding, snap to grid when moving. We'll do that. Snap to grid when adding. Snap to 
snap the grid when moving. Okay, so that'll make life a little bit easier for us. I'm just going to uh, put these turnouts in in the order that they are going to be in on my layout. But we might move the whole thing over just to make it fit a little bit better. It'll make life a little bit easier. And we're going to put this left-hand turnout about right here. And we're going to rotate that one also 180 degrees. So it looks like that. And we might put this up here. And actually that is a curved turnout, but I don't have any curved turnouts in here. So the next one we're going to do is a left-hand turnout. And that is going to be on this. And we'll move these out of the way. And I could see that, we're, you know, we're going to not need that much room here. But I'll move this out over because this comes out this way. We might want to move this down a little bit. Okay, that's my left. We have a right that comes off of here. This end of the right is actually going to be on there. There's another right right here. And then this right right here is going to be on a loop. So we're going to take this and rotate that 180 degrees. Now this is the basic setup for what we have. The first thing I want to do is take this one right here because this is a loop so we're going to add some points in here and I'm going to put a an anchor point in here go by right there and another anchor point up here and another anchor point about right here and we we'll, want to do a track segment we still have to hit the shift key and you'll see how we have a circle around everything and we're going to do that we're going to do this right here we're going to do this right here oops hit the shift key first and we'll do it again right here we want to make a circle so we want to change that to a circle and so you see the circle goes the wrong way so we want to right click that and we want to flip so we're going to go that way and we're going to move this point and this one's a little bit too close to the other one so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we could uh, get closer to it so we make sure we don't hit the wrong one okay so it's not letting me do that okay this one's not letting me move this circle out of the way there we go finally okay so we got that circle there make this bigger here move this up here And we'll make this an ellipse to make that look a little bit better right there. Now we have our reversing section right there. And so, okay, we finally got that. It took a while, but uh, you have to play around with it. If you got the things a little bit too close, uh, you have to play around with it. So now that we have that, We're going to put this one up around here and we're going to take a track segment and go from there to here. You put an anchor point in there. And we'll put the track segment in there. Uh, 
Okay, we'll make this squared off a little bit, so we'll move this down to there. This one right here, we're going to have to move up here. I'll move it to like right here. Now we'll put a track segment in there. So then we'll take this one and we'll put this one over here. That's as far as we're going to go today in part one. Keep an eye out for part two in a few days. So until the next time, we'll see you.